Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. They're the Brevard County Sheriff's Office in Florida. I used to live in Brevard County. In oh, Florida. is that where you lived? I did. So they they have made a man upset. Merritt Island. And uh and he is I, I think he's like trying to sue them or something. I don't know. That, mm-hmm. that's really irrelevant. What I want to talk about is what they did. So I guess we weekly or monthly or something, they they have somehow way to get on TV, whether it's the local news or whatever. They do a wheel of criminals. Yeah. So so the sheriff gets on TV and he has like a one of those stand up like spin the wheel, get a prize things, but it has like ten fugitives pictures that and they all have warrants. That's so Florida too. And, this is uh, Florida shit, and then whoever right gets now. selected is is like the person who they're like, let's tell what they did and that they're wanted. And it's just like this isn't like murderers. This is just like people in the county that have yeah. warrants. Shoplifting, <laughs> right. domestic drug violence, possession, whatever. Possession. Yeah, I get it. So what happened was, first off, I think that is wild. And you're absolutely right. That is a Florida thing. It's a very Florida thing. Yeah. It doesn't like, even surprise me. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Like, okay, public, hunt them down. You know where they live. Call us up. Like, have you ever been to, like, uh, one of those gas stations that they'll have, like, p- pictures taken from Crime Stoppers? And they'll have, like, a couple of pictures of some fugitives, some local fugitives? Yeah, yeah. And I've also seen ones where they're like, this guy wrote a bad check here. He's oh, not welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy <laughs> stole. They have a picture from the security camera. <laughs> them like walking out of the door or whatever yeah. yeah that in florida is a very very common thing like i feel like almost every single uh gas station has like those little crime stopper pictures at the register and they even have like a, a local magazine that has a list of all the fugitives oh my god well that's because there's so much crazy ish going on in florida Yeah, well, everyone is a criminal they have some some certain law where they have to uh they have to they have to publicize something about to some degree every crime that goes on anyway. oh interesting well so this so besides this just being wild it just looks like a game show with people's face on what happened and the reason this has come up is this guy had he had a, a warrant for something like, like tickets or you know something like that sure. but he he paid it off and no longer had a warrant and of course the show was delayed they're not doing it live right so by the time he got on the wheel on TV, everything was already taken care of. He didn't have a warrant anymore. And like his boss saw it or something like that. And it caused him issues at his job or like whatever. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I understand his point. But if you wouldn't have had the warrant in the first place, this mm. wouldn't have been a problem. So like you're mad that like your dirty business, which is public record, got found out by your boss after you took care of it. Like so- <laughs> Yeah. Like, uh, pay your damn ish, don't get a warrant. I mean, but he did. Yeah. He w- did. When he got a warrant, it ta- you know how long it takes to get a warrant for, like, not paying parking tickets or something? It no. takes a long-ass time. Oh. You, it ain't like you go 10 days and they're putting you on blast, like, cops coming to you. They're like, duk, 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 give us our eight bucks, yo. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the, like, it, it feels very, <laughs> it feels very Chinese. <laughs> like the social credit system or whatever it is. It's like, oh, so you commit crimes are going to embarrass you. Like, no, just prosecute them. Like, yeah, but I mean, they're, they do it not as of embarrassment. They're doing it to try to, like, get people to, like, turn them in. Uh, Yeah, but the moment that guy loses his job and then his girl leaves him and his kid goes hungry, then what? Like, I mean, uh, I mean but where's the accountability piece of, like, I shouldn't have done the thing to get in trouble Okay, in the first then place. go to jail. But I don't see why we got a double. I don't. I don't understand. But what if his boss now. just like was like, "Let me look at the local police blotter." Then and read look about, at it. And saw John Smith in then there. He's in there. So, but they're just doing spin the wheel, make the deal. Nah, I mean, come on. They, they know that people watch that ish, and they just they want to they want to embarrass oh, you a pe- little bit. People that's love when they can hear dirt about other people. Exactly. It's like that's... people love watching America's Most Wanted the, that show because people just want to see the criminals be like, "Oh my God, is, is my neighbor a criminal? Can I can I narc yeah, on somebody yeah. right goddamn now?" And that's the thing. It's just kind of like it's needlessly salacious in that. And like and like, look, I'm not against like the cop shows or like unsolved mysteries. You remember that? Oh yeah, yeah I love those shows. I'm 100 yeah. percent for like. You know, if this guy killed somebody or did something, yeah, he needs to be found because he's at large. He's dangerous. Okay. But the dude didn't pay us parking tickets. Like, yeah. That, I don't know if that's what it was, but it wasn't anything serious. It wasn't okay. like, well, if it, it may was, have been unpaid child support or something like that, but still, yeah. it was something along those lines. He owed money or he 
did something. It wasn't like he he wasn't a murderer. That's for goddamn. And sure. then it's like you know, if you're really gonna start putting these people's faces out there, at least make sure they you know they didn't they didn't do the crime. Like maybe he didn't know. I don't know. There's so many variables where I just think it sounds I don't like know. you got a soft heart for criminals. I don't have a soft heart for criminals, but I say you know let the justice system handle that. Yeah, street justice. No, <laughs> we were talking last night about street justice in prisons. <laughs> street justice in prison? How like certain people like? Well, you said something about we were watching that sixty days in like uh, thing for a little while, and we ta I talked about how like um, how they they. They don't let street justice be a thing where, like, oh, you did a crime, like, you know, uh, eye for an eye, whatever. But if you go to jail and you did something really messed up, like messing with kids or raping women or something like that, the prisoners oh, take yeah, care yeah. of it on their own, and the and the system kind of turns a blind eye to that sort of thing. I mean, you you kind of earn that ass whooping, though. Well, well right. It's like <laughs> it's like you go in there for stealing, ain't no one gonna do nothing for you. But you, you there's just those like line crossing crimes, and people are like, oh yeah. no, you're gonna get your you're gonna get yours for that. It, it, yeah, and like I say, if it's something to that degree, because we definitely have degrees of crime. If it's something to that that degree, then yeah, yes. like and someone you, writes a bad check or someone like a like yeah. beats an animal with a bat, like those are two totally different uh, crimes. You, yeah, you deserve some humiliation if you get effing with cats, you know. Right, exactly, and it's it's just so interesting that like you know they it just it pretends like we're this like honorable society who doesn't like let let gladiators fight in the arena, but like. When they get into prison, if they've done something that's deemed wrong enough, oh, no, they can't do. They get brought up on charges in prison, and then they just extend their stay. Yeah, but if they don't know who shanked them, <laughs> quote unquote, air quotes. Oh man, the cameras were off. We don't know who shanked them in Brother, there. Them days of eyes are long gone. There's so many cameras man. now. But they just we just had something happen. Some cameras didn't work. A man ended up killing himself in prison. <laughs> what are you talking about Jeff? I mean, I don't know what Jeffrey. Yeah. You talking about Jeffrey? <laughs> 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 Jeffrey. You talking about Jeffrey? Hey, is Thug still in jail? By the way, Je Thug is. I mean, okay, I was gonna say Thug is not in jail, but Thug is a hundred percent still in jail. Say, he's like racketeering. That's because everybody just turned their back on him, man. Free my free my homie Thug. Free free he young was racketeering Thug. Racketeering gang he, members. Can't, they can't prove. That. I think they have, and that's why he's no, in jail. <laughs> YSL is a label, Jonas. What? YSL is a label. Okay? Yeah. It's was they not a game? Were they extorting and murdering? See, there might have been like one murder. Listen, just how just <laughs> one, been, any group of people is eventually going. But it's kill. just like one little murder. Who can, you know, like Dude, that's really wild. That, just uh, one, and you know, so what if Young Thug may have sent the guy there to kill him and provided the vehicle so that he could go and kill the guy? Lord. It's just that one time. Just that. Just and the one time that he got another rapper's house shot up. But we can't prove that when he, Yeah, right. I'm sorry. Not his house. His mom's house. Oh, my Listen, God. I, you know what? I don't make these rules. Yeah. It but like free my homie thug. <laughs> wait. Does, wait. Okay. So, like, people get cancel culture because they say wild <laughs> stuff. Does thug get cancel culture because he shot somebody up? You know what's funny is that no. Um, in, in, apparently in the rap music industry, you don't get canceled for shooting a person's mom's house or killing another person. But if you snitch on the guy who did do these things, that will lose but you like, just about six everything. Six nine still makes music, right? Nobody's nobody messes with six nine. He got blacklisted after that. Man. I mean, they wouldn't play him on the radio. They wouldn't. Oh, so he went. So I know he got out because he, he snitched, right? Yeah. And I really haven't heard anything about him in years after that. So I imagine he just. But like, how? Like, I would think that he would be at risk of like getting like street justice of like you, you mean like other other bloods like kicking his ass later i mean there's still a chance of that but he's he's outside as far as i know um he does a lot of like spanish venues now because he's like fluently puerto rican or whatever. oh so he kind of went more of like let yeah. me just go to a different like <laughs> he, theme of music to he, he's out there duking it up with bad bunny oh it's a bad bunny out here and, doing collabs and on on well I oh, wouldn't I, say they're doing collabs, but you know. So he so he kind of went to that. I mean, yeah, and you know he has that versatility because he is like f fully Puerto Rican. So yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah I mean, but yeah, like like I said, a lot of other people who snitched or or who are called for like testifying against uh, Thug, um, they are they're just like uh, your rap career is over because we don't f with snitches, right? Yeah, who who's the biggest one that's gonna get? Oh. Who, who's the biggest one that got listed before we go? Oh, Sergio Kitchens. I've never even heard <laughs> that's about. gonna. 
I, big old gunner. Yeah, he's no longer. Uh, you know? <laughs> he, he, his career's over now. Well, there's just the video evidence of him being like, "Yes, YSL is a gang. Yes, there were drugs in the car, and they were not mine. Uh, yes, 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 yes." So yes, he tried yes, to save yes, himself. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And he's out. He's out of jail, though. Thug still in jail. Everybody else I guess, out. I guess if the options were keep your rap career, stay in jail, or lose your rap career and be free, I don't know. That might be a good... I mean, you already got money from being having a rap career, so... Wow. Are you telling me that you would snitch? I probably would not. I just wouldn't put myself in situations... Would you snitch on me? No. I you wouldn't put like myself... You look like you're about in, to snitch I on would, a motherfucker right <laughs> now. You look like you're about to snitch on me right now. I'm calling the cops <laughs> with my phone. Don't you worry. I got know something... <laughs> And Mr. Hero, he gave a voice of sandwiches to his friends. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.